Hi humans! Today's video is going to be my January 2022 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So I have it right here behind me. Uh, I went to pick it up to bring it in here and it's restuck, but I picked it up by the corner and it just like came open a minute ago. So that was fun. Um, so anyway, uh, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, I will leave a description as, or a link, not a description. I'm giving you the description. I will leave a link as always if you want to sign up. It is $35 a month and you get to pick three of the items that are included. They pick two for you or you can choose to have the whole thing be a surprise. So I know all of the items that are going to be in here and uh, I'm pretty excited. They were not... Let me find a way to say this while still understanding that I am excited. They were not necessarily my favorite choices. I feel like as long as one of the things works out, I feel like they're all things that I'm going to use. But I feel like Ipsy is slowly pulling back from giving as many makeup options in these. Because I only had one selection that really had any makeup. Everything else was skincare, hair care miscellaneous um, because one option was like a hair towel which is still hair care but it's not like a hair product like shampoo or conditioner you know what I'm saying so anyway before I get into this I actually guess I do have some add-ons as well but I guess I should take off the makeup that I'm wearing because there is a little bit of makeup in here oh dear I, yesterday, tried to clean my desk and um, kind of succeeded, but in the process also made it even worse because now there are things that are going to go to a new home that I have yet to put in their new home uh, and some things I have no idea where their new home is going to be. Uh, I don't know from this angle if you can see it, but the big plastic thing that used to be over here behind me, I think you're angled a little too far this way but is now beside me so that I can use those items a little bit more and I have a better idea of what I am actually reaching or not reaching for. Uh, and then what went back there instead is a bunch of my skincare, uh, like sunscreen and moisturizers and stuff like that, because that's stuff that if I need, I'm going to reach for anyway. And then I put some of my palettes up here so that uh, they can be in front of me and so that I could clear out a space for my powders because where they were previously it was not ideal so you know do I need to not my lips are fine ignore the giant like hole in my lip that's not fine but that's also not something I can address currently anyway my ipsy plus I'm going to take out the whole thing because everything is nice and packed in the bag, which is a little kind of like pastel rainbow bag with a little smiley face on it. We are falling out of the top. So I'm going to put this over here beside me and start pulling items out. I will tell you what is um, an add-on versus what is part of my bag. So one of the things that was an add-on is the Ipsy Refreshments spa soiree headband in peachy keen so that I can use this to help hold my hair back when I'm doing uh, skincare and like face masks and stuff. And then we have, okay, let me take everything out of the bag because this is going to make my life a little bit easier all the way around. And then I can go through the add-ons first and then get into the other items. Okay, so we have our bag up there. This month's theme is Happy Vibes. So on the back it does remind us that Glam Bag X is returning next month because that is a quarterly thing. And inside here it says the Happy Skin Cheat Sheet. Ooh, this is really interesting actually. It gives you like what specific 
ingredients or something is, why it's used, and when it works. So it's got like AHAs, caffeine, BHAs, vitamin C, uh, why you would want it, and how long it typically takes to, I guess, see results. So I'm going to put that up here because that's very interesting to have on hand. Okay, so my next add-on was kind of along the same theme. It is the Kitsch Scalp Exfoliator. So it has a little uh, thing that you like pop onto it and you can use this to, I mean, exfoliate the scalp. Uh, it says daily scalp mas massage with this improves circulation, encourages hair growth and reduces buildup. Use while washing hair to gently massage and exfoliate scalp. It's also great for helping to detangle your hair. So I'm wondering if you could use this. Oh, haha, -ha. can be used wet or dry. Just kidding. That answered my question. Okay, I needed a new one because my old one is getting, it's not kitsch, it's cheap wish, but <laughs> it's getting old. My last add-on, which I am going to be using in this video, is the Formula Z Cosmic Glitz Transformation Shadow Palette. So it has this gorgeous holographic um, packaging and the palette is the same so it says desk dusk disco I guess saying you can kind of use it for whatever if you can even see that and then it has these gorgeous shades inside so there's only one matte so we're gonna be using that as our matte shade and then um, picking one of these shimmers to put over top. There is a mirror inside of this. So the matte shade is Saturn here. So I'm going to tap into that with a pink stained brush. <laughs> and we are going to just put that all over the eye. So far, nice formula. Like, the pigment is definitely there, but it's not too pigmented. Doesn't seem to be a lot of fallout. There's a little bit of kickback in the palette, but as I've said multiple times before, I really don't mind that. As long as it's not kicking out, like, half the pan. And I feel like this is a good amount. I always feel like the other eye goes out more. Usually this eye looks better. This morning this eye looked better. I don't know what that was about, but... Alright. I'm going to do something real simple for the shimmer. And I'm going to go in with Rocket. Which is the, like, reddish brown underneath. And just put this all over the lid. And then I will swatch the other shades for you. So that you can see, because these are the shades, uh, these two, and then the Eclipse shade are the ones I feel like I would wear, like, to work. The Desk. Um, what was the other one? Dusk and then Disco. I don't really know what I would wear for Dusk, but I'm going to swatch the other ones. So we have... Astro, which is this really pretty, like, topper-looking color. Eclipse. Ooh, that's that other... It's kind of like a matte with shimmer. Then we have Galaxy. Ooh, it's a very nice-feeling glitter. And then Zodiac, which is also a glitter, maybe? Ooh, not quite, but it's gorgeous. It's a purple-blue duochrome. I don't know how well that's going to pick up on camera, but swatching them. Ooh, that's a nice glitter across the back of my hand. It hurts my wrist. <laughs> oh. All right. That's really neat. I kind of love those colors. Okay. Now, My other, uh, my actual bag items. 
we have the Hip Dot. Doesn't say the name on here, but it's like an eye blending brush set. Can always use one of those. I love the like gradient on the brushes. Exciting. Then we have the Galactic Cranberry Sugar Face Scrub, which is also exciting. This looks like it's going to be really nice. Just a nice little paint tub. Decent size. Then we have a Bell and Argent Laugh and Believe Duo. These are some eight free nail polishes. And I love Bell and Argent. Their packaging is always so nice. So we have our little nail polishes in here. It's a nice little nude duo, which I'm very excited for because I don't, this one's more red. Online, it definitely looked like it was going to be more brown. That is the shade What We Believe. And this is Laugh Right Back. This one's definitely nude. I was expecting it to be like this and a brown, but I guess I need to check my phone's color because, I mean, not that I'm complaining. I'm always down for a new red, but I definitely thought it was brown. Then we have Contently California Nourishing Scalp Care. After all, scalp soothing care treatment. It is a leave-in nourishing and soothing treatment that helps relieve scalp irritation and hair thinning concerns. This is something I definitely need because I have both of those. I'm sure you've noticed in a few of my videos when my hair is up a certain way, it looks like I have bald patches because there are areas that despite how thick my hair is, there are areas where it's very thin. I lose a lot of hair every single day, and I have a very oily and itchy scalp, so very excited to try that. And then last but not least, the other product that we get to try out in this video is a Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Hustla Baby, and I'm really hoping it is not too deep for me. With shades like this that have kind of a gold tone, it could go either way. Uh, because some golds leave a cast on me and they don't look too flattering, but I love the Fenty formula. <sighs> I'm nervous. Yeah, it looks like it might be too dark, but it's so pretty. I might keep it and use it as an eyeshadow topper if it is too dark. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Well, when I turn my hand, it doesn't look like there's a cast per se. You can still see the highlighter, but that's not always a bad thing. So let's give it a go, huh? Let's get our little angled brush here. I thought it smelled weird for a second. We're just going to tap in, tap off, and on. You know what? This might actually work for me. I was very nervous because I knew obviously that it wasn't going to be quite as gold as uh, what was the like original shade that went big? Trophy Wife? Is that the name of it? Or am I getting that and something else mixed up? That's very pretty. If I just want a nice gold highlighter. Do I keep building it up? Yes. Will it eventually cause a cast? Probably. And then it'll be my own fault. But I'm kind of just living for the fact that it doesn't. That's very pretty. Huh. Okay. Well, that's what I was nervous about. <laughs> But, uh, well, that went by really quickly because there wasn't a whole lot to try on camera. But that's my Glam Bag Plus. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content. I will leave all my little social medias down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.